Hi, it's Richard here from On Demand Education with part 5 in our series, What's New with Innovation Pack 2014. This is the first video brought to you by Patch Set 1. And of course, the big elephant in the room, which we haven't even discussed in the other videos, is the question of responsiveness. Obviously, in a demonstration like this, it's hard to prove or disprove anything, but we'll try and give you some pointers as to where we're going with this and the Siebel framework. Let's begin by some simple but brutal tests. A quick, massive resizing of the browser. We noticed that the menu has stacked correctly, the edit layout applet has stacked correctly, and on the home page, as well as a list and form based view, the applets have responsively resized. This is already looking pretty good. Let's resize the browser window back to normal for a moment, and let's use Google Chrome's developer tools to push ourselves a little bit further by selecting the mobile tools and choosing an emulation. We'll choose something relatively modern. What about the Apple iPad? We'll choose that and refresh the browser. And just looking at our little demonstration window, you can see that the layout is correctly laid out. You can see that the layout has been responsively reorganized. We're going to use the sitemap. Notice that there were three columns in the sitemap. And we're going to choose the user preferences page and the behavior view to show you one other feature that points in the right direction. Let's momentarily resize this iPad view. You will observe that the standard checkboxes have been replaced with iPad appropriate controls. Another proof, if you can call it that, that the responsive design is pushing us in the right direction. Removing the emulation and refreshing the browser should return us to the standard checkboxes. As it does. Score another point for IP 2014. Let's now go to an old favorite of Siebel High Interactivity. I'm going to drill down on Bruce Daly and I'm going to go to the Contact Organizational Analysis view. This has received some care and attention. A very nice rendering, as you can see. There are two kinds of connection points, the horizontal and vertical points. To create a subordinate relationship, I use the upper and lower points. Drag and drop. Connect. Perfect. Now I'm going to attempt to create a influence relationship using the lateral connectors, just like this. And connect. Let's move Bruce Daly down a bit to observe. Excellent. Really quite a clean presentation. Let's see if we can put a hierarchical in uh, as well. Done with nice reorganization of the tiles. Emboldened by this, let us turn our attention to another kind of visual editor. This time, let's go to the sitemap and administration smart scripts. Let's take a look at the page designer for a start. As you will recall, a page is a, is a set of questions. So when we choose the designer, we can see this page has three questions on it. Nice clear icons, Observe that each icon has a context menu hidden behind that little arrow button, which facilitates the deletion of items. A nice touch. Let's try some simple working with this designer. When I move a question, the connector has gone weird. Oh, and I move another one, and now the connectors have gone totally weird. There's something strange happening here. I'm not telling you that this is going to happen to you, but this is simply what I noticed when I did my first test. They've gone completely now, so I'm going to use the new official uh, fix mode, which is to refresh the page. And the connectors are still there. Hmm. Let's try adding a question to our smart script page. Drag and drop. And we'll see that when I drop the question, the good news is that the pop-up actually pops up. In many versions of Siebel, it would pop under. I'll select a question, and the connectors have gone again. Let's turn our attention instead to the script designer. Scripts, you will remember, are a series of pages. 
The script designer, therefore, has page icons. And let's try simply moving some of the pages around on the designer. So far, so good. Yep. Yeah. Let's use the functionality to add a page to our script. We should see several pop-ups. The first pop-up is to pick a page. Excellent. And then we will connect our page to one of the other pages. And we should be asked about the question and answer. Yes, there's the question. And unfortunately, that's where I get a weird thing here. Uh, may, oh, maybe it's a small, oh, no, hold on. Maybe it's a small applet that needs to be resized. No. So not sure what that is, but I don't think I'm supposed to see it. So thumbs down in my simple non-scientific test for the smart script designer. Let's look at one final thing and try and end on a positive note. You'll be familiar in the contact list applet of the three visualizations that are now proposed, the cards, the maps, and the standard list renderer. The question mark and the question that we leave you with tonight is, what do these new two extra visualizations that you can see here in the user preferences behavior applet, specifically detail and compact, what do they do and where are the renderers? That's a question for another day. Thank you for watching. Tune in again tomorrow for part six of What's New with Innovation Pack 2014, Patch Set 1. Thanks for watching.